Post-launch conditions at Starbase. Falcon heavy delays. Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is our new episode with latest SpaceX and space news. So, let's get started. Today, we will go through some post-launch conditions of the orbital launch tower and what all activities are happening at the Starbase test facility now. First, we have one good news. Today, SpaceX tested the chopstick arms and glad to say that it is working fine. They are currently collecting the debris around the Starbase in order to investigate the cause of the failure and report the data to FAA. I think this time FAA would go through the anomaly even deeper as they want to know about the environmental impact after the Starship launch. They are waiting for some reasons to hold this and could probably make them even happier. Now, let's discuss some damages that happened to the cryo shells and the orbital launch mount. As you can see in the image, cryo shells have been damaged heavily when the Starship lifted off. This is due to the direct impact of materials like stones, metal remaining, etc. when the Starship lifted off. The amount of force produced by Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines is just mind-blowing. Even though these cryo shells appear to be cracked, there is very less probability that the inner tanks have leaks. The fact is that, nobody knows this unless SpaceX confirms it. Anyway, from the outside, I hope it's gonna work fine after the replacement of the cryo shells. Also, the launch mount seems to be fried. Seriously, just look at this image and the condition of the mount before the launch. All those pipelines that are a part of the water deluge have been seriously affected by the insanely hot surroundings. The water deluge system could be still working fine as these pipes could withstand high temperatures and are made for it. But the electrical part could be more likely broken. You know, now the orbital launch mount looks like a 100-year-old structure after the launch. Coming to the production site update, Ship 27 was sent to the rocket garden. SpaceX may have found flaws in the current prototypes during the Starship launch or maybe they are intending to change some parts of the ship in order to perform to its full potential. They could even build a new Starship prototype within two months and be used for the next test flight. NASA is worried about the delays caused by the Falcon Heavy. The launch of the commercial satellites on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy could possibly push back the flights to the International Space Station which also includes the private astronaut mission. NASA officials said that the Axiom-2 mission to the ISS by the Axiom Space which was originally scheduled for as soon as May 8 would likely be delayed. We're trying to determine the best launch date right now for the Axiom mission, said Dina Condella, Operations Integration Manager for the ISS at NASA. We're currently just looking at what our options are. That's all about today's space updates. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you tomorrow.